Hello Divine Masculine and welcome to your power message for Thursday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. So let's connect with your energy today and see what's going on with Masculine Mind. I'm also going to bring in All Magic Comes With A Price and I'm going to bring in the Psychic Tarot of the Heart. So let's see what you need to know. Thank you Angels. What's happening with the Masculine today? Wow, you're feeling vulnerable. Okay, vulnerability. You see the deepest, truest part of me, Divine Feminine, my vulnerable heart. You understand me in ways no one else does, and I'm still getting comfortable with that. So they're giving me fear and insecurity. So you still feel vulnerable when it comes to this love, and you still feel afraid of letting down your twin. And that's also another thing that can hold you back. And you're saying to your family, you understand me in ways no one else does. And it's so powerful that that card has come in today when yesterday you went through the energy where you are observing your life and really looking at it in a high way because you're realizing you're just not syncing with people around you. You know, you're not feeling in sync with them. They're not gelling with you anymore. And you're saying to your family, you know, you understand me in ways no one else does. So there is this realization that you belong with your twin and you're still getting comfortable with that because this is very much about changes you have to make and about being vulnerable because it can put you on edge sometimes because you're still letting go of programming and conditioning and society. And you're saying to your family, your radiance outshines the sun. I'm so attracted to your light, you're beautiful inside and out. So you know where you're meant to be. You know what you're attracted to and why, because you feel the power of the light. You feel it. So you're being, you're feeling quite negative now in situations you're in. You know, it's like repulsive to you, it's repelling you. These things don't feel good to you anymore and you want to be in the light. You know, think about when you're in the sun, you know, we've all been experiencing lots of sun lately and it's so nice. You know, when you're in the sun, it feels lovely. It feels warm on your skin. It feels nice. It feels good to be alive. And when a big dark cloud comes over, it doesn't feel so good. So you're attracted to the light. You're moving towards it. And anything that feels cold or cool to you, you don't want to be around. So that's the energy you're in right now. You know, it could also be when you're at work, you're fed up. You know, when you're just feeling frustrated with where you are and you want to be in the light, you know, you're craving for that. It's like when you're waiting for a certain date. So imagine that something is happening on a specific date and you're waiting for that date and you're feeling frustrated and it's all you can think about. So you're saying to your family right now, you're all that I can think about because you're beautiful inside and out. And I want to be around your light and love. So all magic comes with a price. What do we need to know? For the masculines, please, angels. The cup. New. You want to give this cup to your family. This is what you're dreaming about. Look at this. You've got the dream catcher. You're dreaming about this new relationship with your family. A new romance, love, happiness, joy, conception, fertility, pregnancy, celebration, emotional offer. So this is about you wanting to give your feminine that cup of love. You want to fill up your own cup so you have so much love to give. And we've got the energy there of 2 and 5, 25. So this is also, again, the water rabbit bringing in these opportunities for change. And this has been on your mind over the last few months. You've been thinking about how to make this happen. You've been thinking about love and happiness and joy and knowing you deserve that. And I'm also feeling this is the energy of union flowing in between now and 2024 and 2025. You know, lots of you preparing for union whenever that union is. So I'm seeing the cup as the cup of union, the cup of the future. And you want to offer that future to your twin. And we've got the dream catcher circle of life, web of life, secrets, dreams, hidden meanings. And they give me the word music there, music, mystic protection, but music and nightmares. So this shows you that, you know, everything is coming full circle right now. Secrets are being revealed to you and in dreams, you know, in dreams, you're connecting with your feminine, you're receiving hidden meanings in dreams. You may be having nightmares because you're able to 
process things in a very safe way in dreams. Feminines crosswatch, you know, if you've had any crazy dreams or nightmares, dreams that you've woke up thinking about, it's a you're able to process in a dream state all the things you're in fear over or worried about in a very safe way. It's the way our subconscious works through these fears. And there's always a hidden meaning in these things. So you're receiving meanings, divine masculine, through your dreams. And not just the things you're dreaming about while you are asleep, but also what you are visualizing and fantasizing about when you are awake, when you're alive, you know, when you are walking around conscious. And the web of life is also about the internet. And it's about the way you connect with each other online as well as in person. And it's also about the web of life, something you are intricately creating, creating a life together, wanting that life together. And you know your journey is protected and you also protect your feminine from your lower self. Mystic protection, angels, ascended masters, guides surrounding you, keeping you strong. And you're catching your dreams right now and understanding what they are. So dreaming vividly and connecting vividly too. So the energy around the connection then today, we've got success and growth. So you're feeling much more, you know, by August time, you're going to be more successful anyway. But you're going to feel that way because you're creating it in your mind. So you are growing right now into a success and you want to take the lead. You're saying to your family, let me take the lead. You know what you need to do because you are a leader. You're being guided to step forward. You're being guided to offer this cup of love. You're being guided towards success and growth. You know what you need to do. You're being guided to it. And also, you know your feminine is the one who can nurture you and heal you and give you everything you need. You know, the feminine can feed you, you know, feed you in a way that nobody and nothing else can. And all you have to do is change your focus. So I'm actually feeling Mother Mary around you right now, helping you to change your focus. And we've got master. These cards are moving on top of the deck. We've got strengthening bonds and we've got trust. Wow. So remember, everything you go through helps your feminine to strengthen the bond of trust. So feminine's cross-watching. Everything you experience with your twin allows you to strengthen the trust. And the trust is power. Those bonds of trust are strengthening right now. Your masculine is learning to master their heart. So masculine, you're learning how to take control of your life, to take the lead, to change your focus, to focus on the things you want now to focus on the things that light you up and bring love and joy into your life. You're the leader, you're the master. So catching your thoughts and understanding that, realizing who you are and what you've come here to do, operating sometimes in your own feminine power. And yesterday I felt this energy of the burning hand, you know, the hand burning. I've got that there as well because it's about illumination. It's about energy. It's about attraction. It's about being willing to receive, taking the lead to receive your success, to grow, to feel better, to catch your dreams and make them happen between now and 2025 because your feminine's light outshines the sun and so does your feminine smile. And you're saying to your feminine, I'm so attracted to you. You're just beautiful to me in and out, you know, and that makes me vulnerable because you see inside of me. You see through the mask. You see through the web of lies and the 3D. You see past the physical. You see into me, the truest part of me, my vulnerable heart. You understand me in ways no one else does. And I'm getting comfortable with that. So allow your masculine divine feminine's time to move forward in their way, to be able to express themselves the way they want to in a way that's lovable for them which means they feel they can be lovable to you. And feminines, in the meantime, while you're waiting for this, connect with them on the 5D. Feel the power of the love. Feel the nurturing element of the connection in a higher way. And masculines, you know what you need to do and what you need to change. And this is you really coming into awareness of that as we move forward. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.